Good morning, everybody. Nice to be back. Okay. Today I'm going to go over a short video. Well, maybe not too short, but we're going to look at a few different cameras. Now, I'm not really big on reviewing cameras and stuff like that, but I really had to get this. I am into the Elgato stuff. They make awesome stuff. This just came in. This is the Elgato face cam. They're finally getting into cameras. I want to check out the quality and I'm going to compare it to the Logitech C920 and the Ava Media 513. Um, this does full high def at 1080p. Um, it looks like either 30, what does it say? I think it was 30 frames. The Ava Media does 4K at 30. So. On that note, we're going to do a shot unboxing, and um, actually I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer. I hope you enjoy this, and do me a favor, after you watch the comparison, um, give me some feedback on what it looks like. really appreciate it. And in the meantime, don't waste your time, give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. back so there we have it the Elgato face cam so far it looks nice it comes in nice packaging it's got a huge lens on it for a um, for a webcam and that they're saying is almost dia DSLR compatible um, every video I've seen on it everybody praised about it yes 1080p 60 frames that's pretty darn good um, so let's get this opened up I don't know if I'll have time today to do the uh, the video I had to finish loading the software into this system now I'm just wanting to do a little burn in and it got sold to my buddy ended up wanting it he got it lives up in Vermont he's coming down to get it soon so he's been running his computers about six years old he's really due for an upgrade pretty much one of the guys that got me into computers years ago we worked together in corrections okay so here we go We got a manual. Looks like it explains everything. I hope it gives a pretty decent. Um, I hope it gives a decent cable with it. Yes. Yeah, so let's take a look here. Yeah, this must be the cable. What does it say on here? just a little pamphlet okay oh awesome okay it has USB-C A that is perfect I am so glad everybody's starting to go over to C it makes life so much easier um, I can't believe that Logitech I mean they've got their uh, they got that Bravia or whatever it is and um, but I still think they could do a lot better for a webcam company I mean they should be putting out something like crazy good Okay, so let's get to the nitty gritty here. Well, comes in a nice little felt thing. Oh, Elgato. Yeah, they got the L built into the G, built into the A, built into the Elgato. All right. Let's open it up. Oh, wow. It's lighter than I thought it would be. It doesn't have a microphone, which is a big plus. Totally happy about that. Can't stand web... I mean, a webcam mic is good if you're using it, you know, just on your um, laptop to talk to some people. But honestly, if you're doing any kind of streaming, any kind of video editing, there's no need for it. They, they really do sound like crap um, most of the time. So you want to get a decent 
cardioid mic. So if we got a lens cover, let's see how this comes off. There's a twist. Oh, okay, it just pulls off. All right, it's got a couple little dimples on there. Well, big lens. I think it said it had like 18 layers of reflective protective glass reflective protective glass. I'm, I'm like full of rhymes today it comes with a built-in heat sink on the back of it it's opened up for air i don't know if it gets hot like my ava media does that gets really warm i have a little fan that blows on it that also i have the the um microphone that's built into that turned off well, you can see this just pulled nice clips right in okay this is going to end up coming off so you can use it for like a webcam you want to hang on something okay movement very good doesn't have much to turn I mean you can turn it oh it does okay so you can turn it a certain amount but what's going to end up is this yeah I don't want to break it this will end up getting back put into storage nice it's got a rubber pad on the back of it it has a a um, quarter inch screw hole that's pretty much universal for all webcam mounts um, tripods G quarter is a universal size that's pretty much European that's used. It's the bigger hole that you see on some of the uh, the microphones, stuff like that. Made of a plastic, it's sturdy. Like I said, I would have liked to seen a nice aluminum, something a little more weight to it, but then again, with it being light for people who use it as a webcam, they're gonna have a beautiful looking webcam. It um it's lighter so it doesn't that's probably the reason why they want plastic with it. It's a thick plastic, don't get me wrong, it's not cheap, it doesn't move. Okay, so what we're gonna do is get this hooked up on a tripod and see how it looks. See how we see how it looks. That's right, folks. I'm expecting some good. So we're going we're gonna to run this. We're going to do a back and forth. We're going to go Elgato, Logitech, Ava Media. Ava Media is 4K, 30 frames. Logitech is 1080p, I think 30. And this is 1080p 60, but the difference in quality should be the way the lens is it's larger which allows it to take in more light more light the cleaner your picture I'm not saying light like shining blasting right into it I'm just saying good light around so you can get good quality picture in there well you can see the lenses in there no fish eyed bulge nothing like that I'm kind of impressed I'll be more impressed when I see what the quality looks like. One ninety nine. It'll probably be one fifty, one forty nine in six months. One ninety nine right now. It just got released with a few other um, Elgato products. They have a couple Elgato boom arms. Um, the thing about Elgato, I'll be honest with you, the camera is nice, but what makes their hardware great is their software they have the best software that you can get I mean this comes from what I when I was looking at it comes with a great software package where you can do all kinds of adjustments to get it just the way you want it same thing with their stream deck the same thing with their uh, microphones it comes with everything everything you really need I mean the blue Yeti is nice you hook it up boom thing works but when you got the Elgato mic, the Wave 3 or something, it comes with a it comes with a a package of a program package where you can adjust that volume and you can smooth it out, bass it out. I, I mean there's just so much you can do with it. 
That's what makes Elgato great. Other companies should definitely follow their footsteps. Okay, we'll be back next with the uh, comparison. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up. All right, everybody. So there we have it. We have the Ava Media up top. PW513. The Elgato face cam. And over here to my right is the Logitech. I know it's a little, little distance. A little bit away. A little bit a ways away from me. Um, but the quality of the Logitech is pretty much just plug and play. Uh, I messed around with the color settings. I tried to get it's a little bit. It seems to be a little bit bright on the bright side, but for a fifty dollar, thirty dollar camera, whatever it is, it's definitely gives a decent picture quality. Um, Ava Media records in 4K. That's what we're getting right now. And the Elgato face cam. And 80p at 60. What I do like about it is after messing around with the settings a little bit, I um did get it to clear up. The blacks look good, the blues are pretty accurate to what I'm looking at here. Um the reds aren't as deep as the Ava Media, but then again, the Ava Media, and it could be the lighting too because the shirt, the red on the shirt looks pretty good, pretty close to Ava Media, so um, responsiveness. Okay, you can see the lag. You can see the lag. See what I'm saying? You can tell that the 513 is faster. The 30 frames, but when it, once I once I down once I edit it and run it through the um, I guess I'll, I'll be doing what you call as upscaling. It'll give it all the same. Um, frame rate hopefully if anything the 4k may be dropped to 1080p at 30 I'm not sure what the Logitech does I think that's probably 1080 at 30 if we're lucky maybe I don't know 720 but for a plug and play I know it's a ways away Lighting isn't as good, but it'll do the trick. You can see the Ava Media has a higher, a larger picture. It's, it's a wider frame. The Elgato was like 86 vision, 84. And the Ava Media is like 92, so it's a little bit narrower, a little bit longer, and you can see kind of the difference. Small, but the difference. You can see the, the boxy look to the uh, the Logitech. Again, Logitech. I don't know. I mean, I know they they have um, their their streaming camera. And um, the reviews have been so-so, and as far as I'm concerned, Logitech could really afford to make a good, <laughs> they can make a good camera. You know, they're into everything. Um, yeah, I think Elgato is probably, as far as having everything you need, you know, you can run the Stream Deck. I already got it hooked up. You just, boom, cameras come right up. OBS pops up.
everything's programmed right in it. If you never use a Stream Deck before, like I watched a video and, and people were asking the guy, oh, what does it do? What does it do? Uh, I'll tell you what, like he said, what doesn't it do? I mean, you, you want to open up any programs and you make your folders, boom, opens up the Elgato camera. I hit the button, it's up and going. OBS, up and going. Browser, up and going. I want to silence my mic, open my mic. Everything's right here. Mute, unmute. Um, in games, I can bring up text during the game. I can get alerts. Uh, oh, it goes on and on. But anyways, we're working on cameras. So as far as clarity, I think between the Ava Media and the face cam, I'm going to have to go. Hmm, it's hard to say, honestly. I mean, I'm not a professional like um, Harris Keller over at Alpha Gaming. I mean, he knows how to get these things. I don't know how he gets them looking so perfect. Um, but. I'd have to say the Elgato looks a little pinker on the skin tone. I did try adjusting it versus the Ava Media is giving a little bit more olive color, which I think is probably close to accurate. And it could be again where the lighting is. I got one camera here, one camera there. One camera over at the other side of the room near the other computer. So anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. Again, I'm not getting paid. I'm not being sponsored. But I'm very happy with Elgato's product. It's $199. We'll probably go on sale in a few months. I think it's worth every penny if you're looking for a good quality camera. If you're into streaming. If you're just looking for a a uh, a webcam, I wouldn't spend two hundred dollars, you know, unless you're unless you're doing webinars or something to that sort, or uh, you know, important meetings. Um, all right, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. All right, my video's done transferring. I've gotta stick these things together, get them out to y'all again. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. We're getting there. It's taking a long time. Um, I keep thinking, you know, oh, I should have 2,000 people by now. But, no, it takes maybe years to get where you're going. And once somebody finally does give you a kick and, and you get you get out there, then, you know, things pick up. But I think I'm doing all right for a few months. But, again... Doesn't hurt to ask for your help. Give me a sub. And uh, give me a like. Smash that thumb. Smash that fist. <laughs> Whatever it is. Smash it up. All right. All right, people. It's always a pleasure. I will be doing some uh, more graphic card videos and I am doing a motherboard coming up and I'm going to be doing another build um, on a case everything's going to be going in a case that comes with it comes with a power supply that has dual power set up on it I think it's Seasonic makes it maybe I know Seasonic makes all the components anyways this case, it looks just like the Lee and Lee, the big glass one, except this one takes a small ATX, a mini ATX board in the back, and everything up to an extended ATX. So you got your big gaming setup in the regular front part of your case, and in the back you set up a small ATX. All you need is maybe a 50... Um, yeah, the 5000 series chipset, the G, so you can stream, and it takes all the stress off your computer. 
it's just it's much better that if you're going to game and stream at the same time it, it, it's tough to do it on the same system it, it uses a lot of resources unless you really have a kick-ass system all right so we're going to wrap it up there everybody it's raining out pouring out got work today of course hopefully i'll get out of there on time who knows um gotta edit this up and get it out so everybody peace it's funny the front pass each other before the ball <laughs> it's too bad they didn't make 4k 60 frames that's okay all right peace sign off hit that like button